Good morning, everybody. What day is it, Aubrey? Opening day. It's opening day of 2023. We are getting ready to go out, and Aubrey and I are going to... We're going to go out and smash one this morning. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. So, here we go. almost nine o'clock. We saw one deer back behind us up on the ridge. It's crazy how fast uh, plants can change. I was all geared up to go out to the public land, you know, a mile and a half deep and have the uh, opening day of, of rifle soiree out there. And about 6.30 last night, my grandpa called me and asked me if I was going to come over to his place, not the, the box blind by the stew on it for a little bit he said he said there's a nice buck running around down there nobody's been back there so no sooner than i did i hang up the phone aubrey here comes up and asks said dad can i go on with you tomorrow and so obviously i wasn't telling her no but i also wasn't taking her a mile and a half deep on the state land either so in the box blind we are it's pretty nice the only bad thing is this whole west side, I can't even see out of it because it's these pine trees and autumn olives are all growing up. So I'm going to have to get down probably midday and do some trimming, which I really don't want to have to do, but I also can't see. That's not bad. I did a little trimming this morning right outside the door because I could see what was going on there. I didn't come to this side, but we're here. We're gonna hopefully have something come through. Never know. Nobody's been back here, so that's one that's a positive that there's no pressure's been back here. Yes. Yeah, we've heard how many? Seven. Seven shots. some sandwiches to snack on. So, see what we can see. Hang in there with us, guys. Well, it's 11 o'clock. We haven't seen nothing. And, uh, I did get down, cleared out some of these pine trees around the blind so that I could actually see down the river. It felt very weird. At 10 o'clock in the morning, opening day, clearing, you know, shoot, clearing out trees with a saw. Just... That's the worst, but I got it done. There's still, there's still a lot of this autumn, autumn olive right here that's still in the way, but at least I can shoot down the river if I have to. I can see down there now and I can shoot it. Back here is all opened up now, as well as back here. I cut a tree right there. Knocked that one down, as well as So there's the view now. It's a lot better.
there's actually a really big scrape right under that tree right there. And it looks like it's like it just worked it last night. I mean, it's, it's super fresh. The dirt wasn't even dry yet. So either last night or early this morning he was in here. But that's how it's going so far. We're going to have a snack. I'm getting a little hungry. So see you guys in a bit.
bushes and a maple tree, not a pear tree. Good morning, everybody. I've been trying to do an interview for a while now, but I've had deer around me quite a bit already. Just had that little spike walk through, and I heard I heard some going through over in here, right right at daylight. I couldn't see what it. up that way through the woods so the deer are coming this way going back in here all this tag alder the big marsh is out there I had a few pictures of some decent bucks back here one looks like the one that I wounded it might even be him it's hard to tell but it feels like a good spot Second day of gun season. It's November 16th. I'm back up in my saddle. With the rifle. So, yesterday was a good day. Me and Aubrey saw it. That little four point. And two other deer. We couldn't tell what they were. They're too far away. We've just seen their bodies moving through. But we had fun. She slept most of the time. That is a big woodpecker. It's about 11 o'clock. I've seen probably six deer so far. Had a real nice eight point across the marsh grass back here and go into this tag alder on the other side. Just a little too far. I didn't break my, I brought the 450 today, expecting them to be within a hundred yards or so and he was probably closer to three so I didn't feel comfortable taking that shot so not out of a saddle and a tree um, the winds coming out of the west southwest like this and I'm debating moving I'm not sure if I want to sit here for tonight and watch this clear cut or if I want to move closer to that marsh grass so I can cover all of this over in here too so I'm not sure what I want to do yet it's hard there's only so many good trees in here but they could still come across this clear cut tonight too so I'm not sure what I want to do I'm deciding It's a beautiful day to be in the woods though, I'll tell you what, it's really nice for quite a few shots today all around me. So somebody's getting some action. Just gonna have to keep at it guys, Let's see what happens.
burnt away right there in the middle of the screen. But I need him to step to the left into that opening right there. I grunted at him, snort wheezed. He's just standing there. He's there. He is right there. We'll see what happens. Well, guys, as you can see, I got a little bit different scenery around me. I pulled a trick out of my old playbook that I used a couple years ago to kill a big ten point over at my buddy Bill's property, and I moved about twenty-five yards. split tree right there is the tree that I was in and I could not see the buck out here he crossed this morning at about 8.30 right through here he went right out to that little point and went in and then I, the second time I saw him at 11.30 he was right out in here and from that tree back there it's, it's 200 yards it was a 200 yard shot which is a chip shot really for any long range high powered rifle but I brought my 450 like I said and I just wanted to make sure that I had a good shot and there was just some brushy stuff in the way there was you know this kind of stuff was between him and I and I just didn't trust the shot I had him in the scope I actually had the safety off but it was never it never felt right so I didn't shoot so anyway, I decided that he's obviously hanging out over there. He came from this side. He's hanging out in there. I'm sure there's does over there. So I'm hoping that he'll come back this way tonight. The only thing that's really against me is this wind. It's coming straight out of the south, or slightly southwest. So it's, got, it's like so if he's over in this stuff, that wind's blowing just like this, slightly off. So it's dicey. I don't know. It worked before. I'm hoping that it'll work tonight. It's about quarter to one right now. Didn't take me very long to move. There's a fresh scrape. On my way over here. Fresh little scrape right there. A couple of real fresh rubs out in here, out in this tag alder stuff. I can still shoot the clear cut behind me if I have to, but I, I really don't even like this tree. I'm sticking out here like a sore thumb. I, uh, I would never hunt this tree with a bow. I'm skylit, you know, from back here. Um, so, may or may not be spotted. I don't know. I don't really care. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Take the risk. Sometimes it'll pay off. But as you can see, I can shoot this clear cut still. Some of it. Pretty much all, everything else around me is real thick. I've got some runways right here.
some stuff to do and honestly I needed the rest and I was getting I was pretty tired from just getting up early not sleeping a lot not eating or drinking or anything uh, but they were in here yesterday all day long so um, there was a there must have been a hot doe in here and uh, there was three different hawks in here yesterday so I'm hoping today's the day got a perfect west south expect to see him come from and uh, just trying to keep my fingers warm this morning it's chilly um, it's dead calm like I said it's really beautiful out right now it's perfect um, so that's the update guys I'm playing cat and mouse with these bugs I just got a picture on my <laughs> camera to the south of here that is like chess game with these deer but hopefully today will be the day we'll see but I'm gonna get quiet it's so calm I don't want to make any noise stick with me guys
because of the rifle, because it's rifle season. But they're, you know, safety in numbers kind of thing. I don't know, but you know, uh, it's pretty cool. So I need one of their dads or grandpas to do that same thing. Thank you.